cars all the time, car search engine. I'm Jew, your host. And I am Kelly, your co-host. And where are we at? Costa Rica, baby. We're at Playa de Coco, a beach town right here. It's a little small town. As you see the beach and the ocean right here. And it is quaint little neighborhood around here. A few little cafes to eat at. We've eaten a couple of them. It's like, wow, some good food down here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're talking about some history of some cars right now. And uh, we're talking one out of the country. And where's this one at? It is in Australia's Quantum GP700 hypercar. Wow, that sounds like a, a really unique car. Uh, show our viewers what this car looks like. Okay, according to the Quantum GP700, its latest development and a seven year quest to deliver the most exhilarating and pure driving experience in road going supercar, as its core is that ready one to one power to weight ratio achieved by crafting a lightweight aluminum and carbon fibers chassis fitted with, get this, 2.7 liter four cylinder engine. Wow, now what kind of horsepower are we running here? This car is packing 700 horsepower, weighs 1,543 pounds, zero to 60 miles per hour, 2.6 seconds. Now that is fast, and that is a one light car too, because I have a Shelby and it weighs close to 4,000 pounds, and we're talking 1,543 pounds. Wow, that's light, 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 light. The lighter the car is, the faster it goes. Correct. Now, uh, thanks to twin superchargers, that brings it up to the 700 horsepower, as Kelly was saying. Rifles through the power to the ground through the Hollinger six-pack sequential paddle shift gearbox. The GP700 rides atop F1-esque pushrod suspension for really carving the corners but Quantum says its custom engine management system can reel back power to as low as 300 horsepower. From nowhere, it's going from 700 horsepower down to 300. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's if you're going to go to the store go shopping, right? Right, right. <laughs> I couldn't put my shoes in that little car. No, you got to do better than that. This car is so small, it's like, I, there's no way I could go shopping and get all my shoes. This car is so small. I could not even imagine shopping in this car. Nothing would fit in this car. <laughs> yeah, take a look. See there? Take a look. Right there. See? No, no, no shoes in this car. <laughs> now, also, driver adjustable is the traction control system, which can be tailored for everything from straight line speed to a full-on <coughs> drift mode. Wow. You know what drift mode is? No, I don't. That's like you're going around a curve, your front wheels are going right here, and your back end is going around like, like this. Like that. Wow. That's drifting. If you want one of these cars, you are gonna to have to go to Australia to get it. Is that right, Kelly? That's right, that's and, right. And uh, we don't have one down here at Costa Rica, so we, that's the reason why we showed you pictures of right. the car. So you know what? That's our show. See ya. See ya.